What skin's that? Oh, mate, what's your skin? Can I download it? Where can I get it from? All of these questions are asked in the comments section all the time on Football Manager YouTube videos. Uh, it's a question that I asked on Twitter and in the Discord on Sort It Out SIE as well. And these are the responses I got. So I've got five of the best skins for FM22. If the skin you use and you love is not in this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll take a look as well. Let's take a look at the best five skins for FM22. Okay, so we'll start with the skin that I've been using, the Tato 22 skin. And this is the homepage. And this is the format we'll be taking through all the skins as well. We'll look at the homepage. We'll look around some of the more commonly used pages as well. So this is the club info page. As you can see, picture of the stadium there. Uh, nice array of key players. Lots of tabs to cycle through the key employees. Honours down below. You can get your transfers over that side. And this is a player page. Nice and laid out. It's quite similar to the default skin, but I think it's laid out a little bit nicer. It's got the coloured uh, headings that match the club you're playing at. The dynamics is over there. Everything, I think, is set out really nicely. Uh, and we'll cycle through some screens and get to some in-match footage as well. And this is the screen that you see in match. All of the data there is changeable. You can change the formations, everything. I think it's set out really nicely. It fills the screen. Loads and loads of tabs at the top as well to cycle through. Another popular skin is the material skin. And I quite like the blueness of this uh, background as well. It's pretty similar to the default skin once again. It looks like it's a bit of a change. But this screen is really nice. I like this one. You've got the big stadium in the middle. Uh, the key players down the left-hand side with the club info. And a snapshot of fixtures over on the right under the kits. I really like that layout. I like how it's got all of the good things as well. It's got the finances down there. This is the play screen. It's a slightly different to how it was on the Tato skin. You've still got the uh, all of the pretty much the same information, I think. Um, but there's a slightly different layout to everything. And I quite like this as well. It fits really nicely in the game. As we say, we're going to cycle through some more screens that you can see as well on screen. And we'll get some match day footage as well. If we go to the team selection again, this is quite similar to Tato. Uh, it's just got that bit of a blue hue in the background. Okay, in match, you can see the screens are slightly different. I've not set them up like I have set them up in uh, the Tato skin because I've not used this skin before. Uh, but you can see plenty of things that can be changed around. All of the, It fills the screen really nicely as well. And I like the uh, score bar at the top. That's really good in that colour. I'm enjoying this skin so far. Now, a lot of the people who responded said that they used the default skin. So why not look at the default skin as well? This is in R5 that we've listed. But this is the default skin. You should all be familiar with this. Obviously, you get plenty of stuff on screen, but all of the skins that we look at today enhance basically the experience that you get, uh, especially this page. This club info page is quite sparse. There's a lot of waste of space, even on a monitor the size of mine, which isn't particularly massive. Um, but we'll have a look at the player screens as well. There's no view of the stadium or anything like that. It's quite limited in what we can see. Uh, but the player screen, is pl there's plenty of areas to select different bits of data uh, and different, basically, chunks of information so it's quite nice in that it's quite similar to the material skin actually that we've just looked at uh, in that sense uh, but we'll go through you've seen all these screens before we'll jump through some match footage now just so you can get a like for like comparison uh, and see how it's different to some of the skins that we're looking at in the rest of the video obviously the first thing to note is that the uh, names at the top the club names at the top are just the abbreviations um, and Obviously, by default, there's nothing on your touchline tablet. It's really tiny in the corner, and the dugout's just sat there. It's kind of a bit of uh, wasted space above the rest of the game. You could be within a chance of winning one free copy of FM23. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel and hit the link down in the description below. You'll be taken to this page on the Sort It Out SI website, and all you need to do is hit the Verify Entry button. You'll log into your Google account. We'll check that you are subscribed to the channel, and as long as you've done that before 11 p.m. on the 13th of October, you could be within a chance of winning a copy of the brand new game. One verified user will be chosen at random between the 14th and 16th of October, and provided with a code for FM23 on the platform of their choice. Please hit the subscribe button and join the competition today. The Kojiro skin is up next, and this looks quite similar to the default skin at a first glance. Uh, but we'll look through some other screens as well, just to see how different it is. And this is a big change. So obviously, it's filled the screen a bit more with the picture of the stadium. Obviously, you have to download the stadium packs uh, to get them in your game. I've got one. I'm not sure if it's the most recent, but it's definitely one I've got. Uh, fixtures and results up there. More key people as well here. So it's, it's kind of a bit more information on the screen than you get in the default skin, uh, but still quite similar. Again, here... It's quite similar to the default skin, but that is not a problem, actually, because the default skin this year on FM22 is actually quite nice. So it's not an issue that all of the best skins are just slight improvements 
on the defaults going to say all of them there is one that is quite different uh, but we'll go through to the match day footage now and see where the changes come in in that experience so again you can see the uh, the full names now at the top on the scoreline bar uh, you can extend the touchline tablet like you can in the default one as well uh, and it's colored at the top the club uh, club names are colored they don't match the kits though in the game uh, they match the clubs so if you're playing your away kit it's slightly different. So Spurs in this game are in their away kit, not in their normal white kit. But that is the Kajiro skin. Let's have a look at skin number four. The flute skin is up next, and this is quite a lot different. Obviously, there's backgrounds. I've not got a down download of a background pack, but that's there. This layout of the homepage has got panels, lots and lots of panels that you can look through with different information. So all of the information you could put on the main panel is there already. You just have to cycle through, and I really like... Uh, this is quite it's quite boxy as well if you like boxy um but yeah the main page has got your last uh, team 11 as well your lots of information about the next games uh, and there's even places to put city pictures as well uh, on the club info page and i, I like this layout as well. it's completely different to the regular skin uh, and a lot of the other skins in the game um but this this is this is i like this as a, as a change i'm liking the look of this it's got your results down there as well um more information about where the club's located players as well so we look at players i'm guessing that background right there would be the city background or the stadium background maybe um but this is quite it obviously if if your style is like this you will like this skin i think it's a bit too late 90s for my liking but I can see the appeal. I'm liking the boldness of all the colour choices. I like the, the black and whiteness of the um, taskbar down the left-hand side. And I, I, I like, I do like it. I do like it. That is for sure. We'll have a look through a few more screens uh, and get through to some match day footage as well. We get to the team selection screen next. And you can see the pitch is different as well, which is always nice. Uh, but yeah, some match day footage now we'll be handed to have a look at. And immediately the bar at the top, the score bar, is much bigger. There's managers' faces, referees' faces, lots more information on there as well. Obviously, the tablet can get extended out. It's, as I say, late 90s is not a bad thing. Everything late 90s is pretty awesome. But you can see the kits, the clubs, uh, all the players down there as well. Every, I, like, I like the layout of this. It's bold. It's different. It's very, very different from the default skin, which is probably why it's so popular. And the final skin on the list is the Vince skin. And this is the homepage. Again, this is subtly different from the default skin. It's got a nice background as well. Things are laid out ever so slightly different. And the club homepage, for some reason, the stadium's not showing there. Maybe it's the city that shows there. And I've not got the cities. Down there. Oh, the stadium's down here, actually. So that's okay. Um, I like the layout. Again, you've got some good club details on the left. Board confidence and lots of tabs over on the right as well. Key players in a nice... Uh, tower there next to the kits results in a slightly more subtle format uh, again the player screen nice there's nothing wrong with the default player screen and this is just slightly an improvement on it so it's all good i like the top the task the uh, bar at the top how that changes color depending on the club and the competition um which is good as well we'll go through to team selection screen see what that looks like um i like the colors of the players actually they line up they're they're really nice that's nice and it's easy to see uh, which lines the players sit on in your formation and now we'll go through to some match day footage so here we go some match day footage it's taken me a while because we've scored two early goals um but there is plenty going on here all the usual um bits of data you can find Nice, nicely lined up. The colours from the team selection screen fit in nicely with the player ratings as well. Um, I like the task bar, the score bar at the top. That's nice and simple uh, with the full names and the colours. And generally, that's a good skin as well. So there we have it. Five fantastic skins that you can download right now on the sortitoutsi.net website. If you've got any other skins you want me to look at or you think other people should have a look at, link them in the description down below and let me know. And there's some more videos that you can watch right here on the channel appearing around my face. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. For more skins, go to the website and the skin viewer. I'll see you next time.